He's saying he's a military police, and he says, and we've been sent footage before by military police and others, so I want this footage of them in briefings openly talking about gun confiscations. Now, that's now in the manuals that they're training to quarantine cities and towns and confiscate guns. We've had Navy SEALs on confirming it. We have the documents. We know that. But footage, not just in some Army manual, but footage could really, really hurt uh, the folks that are uh, trying to covertly prepare the military for basically civil war. Brian, uh, obviously, uh, you've got to go back in right now. Tell us as much as you can and how we get this footage, but describe it for us. Okay, so I was in a briefing with uh, FEMA. FEMA runs my old unit. I'm actually out now. I got out in September of this year. Uh, they were talking about suspension of the Constitution, Second and Fourth Amendment rights being taken away, and I openly asked him, uh, are we going to take guns? He says no, but he says they will. It's clearly on the video. They will. Talking about the FEMA guys with us. Um, so that's the gist of the video. You could, uh, I'm filming the floor because it kind of startled me when they said that they're going to suspend the Constitution under martial law, which is pretty scary to me. Essentially, yeah, we pretty much at that time, you're a mixed second amendment. All your rights, first amendment, right, pretty much everything is just, is that that moment. So you said that uh, martial law suspends their Second Amendment, so would, I'm not going to, but would you say we would take weapons from people? Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying... Yes, I wouldn't agree with that either. I'm a second Amendment. I believe the Second Amendment. But okay. the sense of during a moment of martial law, you've lost all control. What I'm saying, the military, when the military moves in on your street, they are now saying you have no more rights unless you're going inside your house. That's like the worst case scenario. Now. So I'm saying when the, the way they're not looking at it, when the guard is used, that's how it's going to be used. Yeah. So we're not, we're not going to be off there on the street corner and be like, hey, you know, we're here. Like, unless we're like you're assisting with some kind of event, you're not going to be involved in a riot and not really have any authority to do it. No, like, you're not going to go knocking on doors and be like, all right, I need a shotgun. You're not going like, to go up to each house and say... Well, they did that in Katrina, is why I'm asking. And if we're no. talking about shit hitting the fan, no. I'm not going to do it, but... They're not going to do that, necessarily. Well, it's more or less like, hey, go in your house, shut up, stay there. That, that's going to be the point. Okay. Because the reason I have martial law in place is it's a low situation. Like I said, I think it's already broken down. You're, you're, there's, it's a last resort to change pretty much... Your last ditch effort to put that in order into that machine. That's why they have an actual car. Okay. Dude, like, they did that in the right? They just don't think that people have done it. Yeah. Which I think is bullshit, but. You're going to claim your right to take a private vehicle in your hands? Yeah. Uh, or, or a person. I don't know. We're going to get political right now. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.